Hi, I'm Stan, and today I'm going to let you in on a little solar industry secret that I've been using over the past couple of months to uh, cut my overpriced power bills. Now, I'm an engineer by trade, and you know, I've been building and testing all sorts of devices. I love this stuff. For the last four years, I've put a lot of time and a lot of effort into these tests, not to mention some real cash. Some worked, some didn't. But nothing, nothing came close to this solar energy breakthrough I have right here in front of me. And it didn't just work for me. Over 10,000 homeowners across the United States alone are enjoying the benefits that come with this cool box. Now, I knew solar arrays, they're expensive. So, you know, going solar was never on my try it out list. But all of that changed when I came across a cool set of video guides on how to build this. Now it's called the Smart Solar Box and it's virtually an endless self-sustained power source that is really cheap to build, works even if it's cloudy, and it makes a huge difference in the amount that I now pay for electricity. It's basically a solar power plant that fits inside a toolbox. So it's extremely versatile and portable, and it can cut your power bill. So you can power up a cabin, stand as a backup generator, or as a generator for camping and fishing, and even emergency situations. Basically, if you want to take it with you, you just fold the two small panels up, put them in the trunk, along with the battery box, off you go. No more gasoline, no more smoke, noise and hassles from the old one. It's light, it's cheap, easy to build. This one is mine. Now I haven't connected it to the grid because I didn't want to go through all of that paperwork. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm using it to power up my garage. The door is electric. I have tools that I use daily. I have lights, an alarm system, and of course, a small fridge. And so far, I haven't seen the battery charge drop by more than half. Now, a couple of months ago, I got to know the creator of the Smart Solar Box, and his, his name is Ryan Tanner. He's really a great guy from Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the USA, and he told me the most amazing story. It's a bit of a sad story of how he got the idea for the box and how it literally saved him, his family and his friends, what would have been a tragic outcome. It's really fascinating. And he'll tell you all about it in today's presentation. And not only that, but he's actually going to teach you all the secrets behind his smart solar box so you'll be able to have one working by the end of the day. So I know you're anxious to learn all about it. So here's Ryan in his very own words. That's the moment our lives changed. And no, I wasn't the one knocking. I was on the other side of the door, shocked at the sight of a grown man crying with his child laying soft in his arms hanging by a thread, almost frozen to death. But it wasn't just our lives that changed. 17,341 hardworking Americans are now living a better life, with a lot more money in their pockets. Now, I know you'll think you've heard this before, and your BS senses are going off, but what I'm talking about, it's not a well-guarded secret or a never-before-seen device made by some forgotten genius inventor. It's actually something simple that thousands of people use, but in an inefficient and expensive way. Used properly, it will help you slash an excess of 70% off your power bill overnight. That's over $2,000 a year. Not only that, but it's lightweight and portable, so you can take it whenever and wherever you want. Just put it in the trunk, and you're good to go. And no, you don't need a second mortgage to afford it. Actually, you'll get it up and running with just dimes on the dollar. Hi, my name is Ryan Tanner, and today you're going to learn how a simple and ingenious device saved six lives during a monstrous Wisconsin flash blizzard and turned the tide against the corporate fat cats once and for all. I'm guessing you might have seen on the news the sheer power Mother Nature unravels during the cold Wisconsin winters, or you might have experienced it yourself. 
Any way you turn it, it's nothing you can take lightly, and almost always catches you off guard. I've seen with my own eyes how a bright sunny sky darkens in a matter of minutes. Temperatures drop by 30 and 4 feet of snow impairs 21st century technology, sending everyone in the dark ages in a matter of hours. Because that's where we'd be without light and warmth. The whole money in the world won't help you. No gov will protect you. Chances are, when disaster strikes, 99% you'll face it alone. So only one thing can make the difference between starving and being fed, freezing and being warm, light and darkness. And that's being prepared. And with today's response in disaster situations, you might be looking out the window, freezing both inside or outside, or even worse, for up to a week. Remember how fast action was taken during the Katrina disaster or the 2011 blackout? I think they're still hauling aids and supplies there, not knowing five years have passed. So who's your best bet? The government or yourself? I lost the bet on the Gov once, and six people almost lost their lives. Only a simple contraption made the difference between life and death. And it's something each and every one of us should have. Because no matter where you live, north, south, east, or west, Mother Nature always has something that can turn your life upside down. Tornadoes, hurricanes, blizzards, floods, you name it. And Gov officials are only going to watch it in awe. Or, God forbid, count the bodies on live TV. Imagine the toughest, coldest winter. Four feet of snow as your eyes can see. You get through it somehow. But when spring comes, you won't be happy and joyful like you see in the movies. Because all that snow melts and flash floods will be knocking at your door. You have to be prepared round the clock. So I think it's time everybody started caring for themselves. And I'm not talking about massive stockpiles. Sure, you could do that. But actually, all you need is a well-equipped and stocked kitchen, a good heater or AC unit, and green electricity. This is something that can save your life and your loved ones around you. Six people are still here today to tell the tale. And 17,341 hardworking patriots are now making the Big E picking up the tab. Here's what some of my close friends had to say about it. At first, I was a bit skeptic when it came to solar. I thought it was too expensive. But my wife pushed me to give your system a try. I'm glad I did because it works like you said it would. Thank you. Steve B., Dallas, Texas. Clean cut video guides. I haven't seen anything like this in a while. I got everything I needed from the first trip to the store. That's what I hate most. Second trips were supply and parts. Thankfully, this wasn't the case. I shorted the bill by 52% and I'm proud of it. Big thanks from Boston. So stick with me for a couple of minutes and I'll let you in on all the nitty-gritty details you need to know. As I said, my name is Ryan Tanner. I'm a 52-year-old mechanic from Milwaukee, happily married for 27 years and raised two beautiful daughters. The story I'm about to share started two years ago in a cold October afternoon. I was raking leaves in my backyard when I saw my wife slamming the back door and running towards me. I knew something was wrong. Honey, your father, he's dead. I couldn't move for a moment. Shocked. It must be a mistake. I talked to him on the phone a couple of hours ago. But it was no mistake. God, how I wish it was. He felt he couldn't breathe, so he called the ambulance, unlocked the door, and lied on the bed waiting. And that's how they found him 40 minutes later. The paramedics tried their best, but it was too late. He was pronounced dead at the scene. I was devastated. We all were. But we had to face the facts and try and move on. What's worse, foreclosure notices started pouring in from the bank. We couldn't cover his debt. So we agreed on selling his cabin in the mountains where he lived. I talked to the girls and planned a last farewell trip to the cabin before selling it. It was late November, but the sun was still a bit warm, so we didn't pack thick clothing. We were going only for the weekend, after all. We arrived in the evening, lit up the fireplace, made a few sandwiches, and started talking, remembering all the beautiful times we had there, sadly thinking it was all over. The hours passed, and we didn't notice it started snowing outside. When we did, my first thought was, we're stuck here. But then again, it was November. How hard can it snow? I checked the fridge in the kitchen. There was still some food left. We had done a firewood for the night. The power was still on, so we thought we'll wait it out. At 12.15, I heard desperate knocks at the door. A man was holding a boy in his arms. His cheeks were bluish. He wasn't moving. I rushed them inside near the fireplace, covered them with blankets, and made them a hot tea. After a couple of minutes, a little boy started waking up. The man told us his name is Andy, and they almost froze to death after their car got stuck in the snow. They lived actually not far from our cabin. But it was so dark and the blizzard was so violent they couldn't find their way home. After stumbling for two hours in the white storm, he saw the lights at our house and realized they were saved. 
He told us he hasn't seen any lights for miles, and that was odd because there were lots of cabins and houses nearby. Three hours later, we got an unexpected visit from one of our neighbors. He brought his family over after seeing we had electricity, hoping we could charge his daughter's inhaler. They told me the power was out since 9 p.m., but we still had the lights on. And that's when I understood. We were the only ones that had power. But why? And how? I didn't do anything for it. So where was it coming from? Nothing was different around the house. The wiring was the same. We were connected to the same grid. I started inspecting the house, the rooms, the basement. Nothing. I went and searched the shed. Something must be powering up the house. I only found six dusted toolboxes and a ping-pong table. It was cold, so I left it like that. In about an hour, the little boy was joyfully back on his feet and started playing with my daughters. We all got through the night okay, a bit scared of what was going on outside, but safe and warm in my father's cozy cabin. In the morning, I was restless, trying to figure out what kept the lights on. So I inspected the cabin and the shed again. That's when I saw lights flickering inside one of the dusty toolboxes. I opened it and realized what saved our lives. My father's preparedness like a helping hand beyond the grave. A secret power bank. Each and every toolbox was a power source of its own. Three were depleted. Three were still kicking 80%. But what charged them? I took a closer look at the ping pong table. It was odd. I didn't know my father played the game. And to my amazement, it wasn't a table, but a folding array of solar panels, small and compact, like nothing I've seen before. I must have stayed four hours in the shed trying to figure out how two small panels could have charged the whole bank, and how three batteries of that size could have powered an entire cabin for 16 hours straight. I had enough time to study the contraption, because snow plows were nowhere in sight. Actually, in the afternoon, we had to go search for firewood and water supplies, to be prepared just in case we had to spend another night there. And we were right. No one showed up. We still had power through the second night, although we had to cut down on the big screen TV, not knowing if we were going to spend a third one up there. Help only came the next day, with the usual hassle, like the gov was doing us a favor. After waiting for 48 hours, what if we wouldn't have had electricity, or food, or supplies? Or even worse, and we would have been all stranded like Andy almost was in his car, in the middle of nowhere. Who would have helped us then? No one. And that's the thing my father, in all his years, understood best. You have to be prepared first, able to help yourself and those around you, because sitting and waiting for miracles from FEMA could get you killed. I took his notes with me and studied the plans for his solar panel system. Somehow it produced way more AC than you'd expect for that size. But what I finally discovered was that the secret laid in storage and charging times. He tweaked it until it was giving out almost twice as more power at only half the charge time. And that there was the lifesaver. Everybody can get solar panels up in the house or in their yard, but how long does a single charge last? How much would a normal system cost? Not to mention maintenance, snow, and all the space they take. Or even worse, putting your health at risk by hanging them on the house and climbing up there to clean them. It's a nightmare when winter comes, high winds, or when a sudden hailstorm hits. That's where my father changed the rules of the game. It took me almost a year to put all the pieces to the puzzle. I built a system for my house in the city. I only have 1,500 square feet and never would have dreamed of going solar. But with my father's help, I got it going on just 20 square feet. And whenever I need the extra space, I just fold them and put them in the garage. No worries, no maintenance, no headaches. It cost me a little over $200, $204.68 to be more precise, to build the first unit. And results came pounding hard the very next day. The meter was barely moving, and it reflected directly into the bill. 68% off in the first month. I did my best to cut even more, but on the scale I built it, just wasn't possible. As I said, this is not a BS conspiracy cloak device. There are limits. Anyway, I think I did pretty good, and the cost of $200, that's money well spent. 
I got it back in three months just by cutting off the bill. And I'm $1,369.30 in profit now. But if you really want to stick it to the electric monopolists, with just a small increase in scale, you can make that wretched meter run backwards and start making them pay you for the excess current you feed to the grid. Imagine receiving the bill. Your hands shake while you open the envelope. And yes, it's exactly what you've been expecting. The amount is negative. It's not a story. These are true facts. Personal accounts of some of my closest friends. Now let me tell you what it is all about and how it can change your life. This ingenious solution can work anywhere to power everything from small radios to big refrigerators, big screen TVs, computers, or even houses. It's perfect to use in any situation, especially in disaster situations when all the energy lines are down and you need electricity for preserving the food in the refrigerator and for cooking, as I told you. Six people are still here to tell the tale. It won't take half the yard to assemble, only a couple of square feet, and you can just fold the panels and put them in the garage whenever you want. But it's so powerful that it can reduce your entire electricity bill by 68% instantly, even if now you're paying $250 a month. And you can find parts for it anywhere at any local shop or online. Not only that, but the batteries don't have to be new. My father didn't pay hundreds of dollars for them. New isn't always the best option. He bought six used batteries from a garage sale for mere pennies and used those instead. There's a catch. Do-it-yourself guides for solar panels are all over the Internet. But if you follow those instructions, you're looking at $2,000 minimum investment. And that's a lot of money. But no one will teach you how to make this work for under $200. Not because they don't want to, but because they just don't know. But all that was until my father came up with a way. He got his idea from the most common battery we all use. One that lasts five to eight years and is recharged thousands of times, no matter how cold or hot it gets outside. The car battery. It's simple. You can find used ones everywhere. In fact, you may have a couple yourself laying around the garage. It has easy maintenance, revives after total drain, and is enough amps to weld iron. And with a well-tuned charge controller, it will never let you down. Two or three of these babies can boost any electricity source into five times more, instantly. And apart from taking the panels out once in a while to charge them, they won't need any intervention for a minimum of five years. That means that if you gain 68% more electricity, you'll pay only 32% of how much you're paying today. Here's the shocking proof that anyone can do it and have your own device installed at home. The good news is that there's no danger whatsoever behind the system. Anyone can have their own money-saving device properly installed in less than four hours. And it will cut your electricity bill by 68% or more starting today. This ingenious system can be built for less than $200. And as I said, most of the components can be bought at any local shop, garage, or online. And if you're going to follow the videos that I've prepared for you that show you exactly how to build this amazing device, even your kid can build one by the end of the day. You don't have to be an electrician. Heck, you don't even need energy knowledge. There's a catch here, too. Everything that you're about to learn today about building your own device is dumb simple, but only if you know how to do it properly. As I said, it took me almost a year to understand my father's design and develop a simplified way to build the system. My father did it by tryouts, so you can imagine how his plans looked. But after all the hard work, the smart solar box was born. Once you'll have the smart solar box installed in your home, you'll instantly be able to save at least 68% on electricity by tomorrow. Some people reported to even 120% by scaling it up a bit, without spending months in trying to build 1,000 square feet of solar panels, or endangering yourself to trying to place them on the roof and paying thousands of dollars in the process. You'll be able to take this little device anywhere with you. It's so small that it fits in your trunk for when you go camping. One charge per battery will give you 18 to 20 hours of green electricity. Works everywhere and will charge even if it's cloudy. You'll be able to power any kind of household appliances, from lamps and toasters to AC units, with pennies on the dollar. Anytime, anywhere, totally legal, without breaking the law. And even if the shit hits the fan, you'll still be able to have enough electricity for cooking and preserving your food, while others will beg for a loaf of rotten bread. This little device is very light and portable, perfect for natural disasters, and not only. There's no maintenance whatsoever, maybe only to clean the panels once in a while and take out the dust from the boxes every six months, and there's no noise around it. Heck, it's even very easy to hide. If things are going crazy and looters will be on the street. It saved my life and the ones around me during the dreaded Wisconsin blizzard. Actually, Andy is visiting us frequently with his son. We're best of friends now. He also built a unit a couple of months ago when results started pouring in. 
He called me happy as a clam last month to tell me all about his microscopic power bill. More and more people are discovering the joyfulness and peace that comes with off-grid electricity. Here's what two close friends have to say about it. Ryan, I'm 71, and I've been looking into reliable and cost-effective alternative energy options for almost three decades. The one thing I couldn't come to terms with is the cost of a solar panel array. 16K has always been out of my league. I'm happy I finally found out about your father's designs. God bless his soul. Happy days. Joshua L. Mill Creek, Utah. My kids love the new backyard swing. I saved almost $300 during the past four months, and I finally had the money to make their wish come true. I did exceed the $200 price tag you talk about, $22 more to be specific, but only because I had nothing I could use around the house and had to go new. I hope more people get to hear about it. Thanks. Alex D., Cedar Falls, Iowa. The way I see it, you need the smart solar box almost as much as you need air. Energy prices are going up at a higher rate than ever. And you're left alone with bills of $100, $200, or even $350 every month. When all this time, you can pay less than 20% of the energy you're consuming. Plus, why shouldn't you? Since it takes less than $200 to have your own power device ready, that's less than a month's bill most of us pay to the greedy bastards, and have it up and running in under four hours, when you have the complete videos that will show you how to build your own unit, fast and safely. That's right. I'm about to share all the videos where I'll teach you how to build your own unit by the end of the day, even if you don't have a screwdriver in your home. There's no maintenance costs, breakdowns, clouds, bird dropping, noise, and all the things that you have to be worrying about. The Smart Solar Box is extremely adaptable and will change your life for the better. So if you want a dumb, simple, safe device that costs less than a month's bill to build, with materials that you can find anywhere, even if you're not an electrician, a silent device that you won't even hear running, that is so practical and efficient with almost zero maintenance that will reduce your electricity bill starting today by at least 68%, now is the perfect time. Here's how to get the Smart Solar Box. You need to move fast on this one because we simply don't know for how long this website is going to stay up. The first time people heard about the Smart Solar Box, things turned out really bad for me and we fear it might happen once again. But still, we want to get this into as many homes as possible. Solar panel technology has already changed the face of the modern world, and it can do it one more time, this time in a cost-effective way right in your own backyard. People need to hear about this amazing device so they can break free from big energy and stop paying for electricity that should be available to everyone. So here's the deal. The Smart Solar Box is available in digital format as videos that you can watch and re-watch or download as many times as you like. You could be re-watching them just five minutes from now and you can enjoy the 68% electricity bill cut by the end of the day. I'm very serious about it. You'll save hundreds of dollars each month and thousands each year, and there will be no reason to fork out at least $20,000 on a classic off-shelf solar panel system that pays for itself in eight long years. How much is it worth to you to literally save 68% on electricity bills for good? So I'm not going to ask you to invest $1,000 for this secret, even though I know it's worth at least that. It won't cost you $500. My father wouldn't have afforded that. The whole reason I'm even charging any money for this is to keep the website running for as long as possible. Yet the Smart Solar Box blueprints and video guides won't cost you $500, not even $250, though they would be worth every penny at this price. I'm going to set the price of Smart Solar Box at just $39.69. But the only way to secure your spot in the program is to click the Add to Cart button now. I can't guarantee that I can keep this price for longer, especially since we're giving 60 days of unlimited email support. So don't get mad if you come here in a few days and see that the price has gone back up. And really, the price doesn't even matter. That's because you're covered by my ironclad, no questions asked, money back guarantee for 60 full days. Here's how this works. Get your copy now. Try it out for a full 60 days. And if for some reason you're not satisfied, you don't see that damn meter stop. Or whatever reason you may have, you don't have to tell me. Just write me a few lines on your private support page. And I'll refund you even if it's the 24th hour of the 60th day. But because you're getting here early, if you act right now, I'll let you have Smart Solar Box plus a surprise bonus, plus the list of tools and supplies for only $39.69. That's probably less than half of what you're paying each month on electricity, and you can recoup that investment in as little as 10 days. Getting the videos and blueprints for the Smart Solar Box is easy. Just click the big, shiny, inviting Add to Cart button that just appeared below, and you'll be taken to our secure order page. It's simple. Get the blueprints today and put them to the test. See how easy it is to make your own electricity with a smart solar box. Watch as your power meter slows down the moment you plug your system in. And see what it's like to slash your electric bill by 50%, 75% or more by the end of the month. 
You have 60 days to decide whether this was a good investment or not. And if you're less than thrilled with how much you're saving on electricity, as I said, just write us a short email at the address you'll find in the members area. I'll give you an immediate refund. No questions asked. It's obvious. Instead of paying thousands of dollars on regular solar panel arrays and huge power bills, you can pocket the savings and spend it on more important things. And just imagine how your life will be just two months after making the smart solar box. And better yet, if you scaled it right, that power bill I told you about earlier with the negative balance, it's finally here. Because you found a way to reduce it by 68% or more overnight every month for the rest of your life just from keeping the smart solar box on. And month after month, you get the same relaxed feeling that comes with not owing anyone a red cent. You're finally free and independent, no longer trapped on the energy payroll. The smart solar box is about something bigger and more important than money. It's about regaining your freedom and making a stand. Right now, you're at a crossroads that's going to affect not just your bank account, but your happiness, your security, and safety of your family for years to come. And the way I see it, three paths lie ahead of you. The first thing is to do like most people. Take no action, do nothing, and hope that nothing bad will happen. Let this video end, leave this site behind, and keep feeling like you're going to have a heart attack every time you open up your electric bill. Keep acting like a power Nazi around the house, constantly worrying about every last watt of power. Keep sweating your ways through the summers and freezing your way through the winters, all because you want to save a few bucks. Keep contributing to the problem, gobbling up our natural resources and keeping us addicted to foreign sources of power. And keep dreaming that FEMA and the Gov will be there to save you when the shit hits the fan. They weren't there for Randy and his son, and they weren't there for me. Of course, there's a second path, and that is to take what you've learned today and try to figure out your own system for creating real power for your home. Honestly, you can try this, but would you rather reinvent the wheel every time you leave the house, or would you rather just climb into your car and get where you're going? It took me a lot of time, effort, energy, and work to put together Smart Solar Box, to test it, and to make sure that even non-technical folks like my brother could follow it and use it. And it's way too easy to mess this up and spend a lot of money while you're experimenting. Buy the wrong kind of cell or batteries? Remember, you don't need new ones. Forget a particular part and you'll end up with a really fancy lawn ornament that does not generate a single watt. And if you really want to be self-sufficient and not at the mercy of big electric companies, then you should seriously consider path number three. Let me take all the risk for you. Do what over 17,341 folks have already done. Grab your copy of the Smart Solar Box. See how fun it is to start generating power for you and your family in shockingly little time. And with our generous 60-day guarantee, there's really no way you can lose. Just click the yellow Add to Cart button that you see below. You'll be brought right to our secure order page, and we'll be able to grab your copy of the Smart Solar Box and all the bonuses at a whopping discount right away. So you need to act fast if you don't want to miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime. It's time to get your hands on this incredible technology. Last time this opportunity was made public, we gave away all 500 copies in under 24 hours. So please, for your own sake, don't hesitate. Action always wins. There are some questions that I keep receiving from people and I'll try to answer a few here. Number one, if Smart Solar Box works so well, why aren't more people using it? There are more than 17,341 happy families already using Smart Solar Box, but every serious prepper that uses it won't brag about it. For some, it's the fear factor. Most people think this is too complex to build. The fact is, Smart Solar Box is easy when you have the proper video instructions. Two, how hard will this be to make? This is so simple and easy to build, you'll kick yourself for not taking up Smart Solar Box earlier. The whole thing takes three hours when you do it for the first time. Record is 88 minutes. Doesn't require strength and electric school. That's all. And really, there's no excuse for not giving it a try. In fact, if you don't want to lift a finger, you can still do this. Just pay someone $50 to watch the short video and put together the smart solar box for you. It's more fun than Legos, and many of our clients are saying that their children love it. 3. How long will this take? It will take you a little over 30 minutes to watch the video, and that's it. Building the smart solar box takes under 4 hours if you're slow. A lot less if someone's helping you. 4. How much did the parts cost? To build a small-scale smart solar box, you'll need about $204 worth of parts, even if you want to buy everything new from the websites that you can get from any electronics store, or you can go online for even lower. If you want to scale it up and get 